right now on Capitol Hill, the House Judiciary Committee is holding a hearing on how social media giants like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter filter their content. This comes amid growing concerns about political bias and lack of transparency on those platforms. Let's bring in the 24-7 crew, Carly Shimkus, Brett Larson, and Jared Mack. Brett, you seem to be, I don't know what, what I, you were doing over there. I, it's interesting. I love watching this. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to see our government getting involved in how these technology companies operate. That said, a lot of what they do is considered trade secrets. It's like Google's not going to tell you how the Google search works. That would be like Coca-Cola saying, well, with this much sugar and this much uh, whatever else you put, you know, caramel coloring, you make Coca-Cola. They don't want to give those secrets away. But I think we need some level of transparency without saying, well, the algorithm works like this. Every time 100 people click on your page, you get bumped up one person. I'm totally making those numbers up. But I'm saying, like, right. that's, you know, we, we don't really understand how these algorithms work. We don't understand what they're looking Looking for uh, in terms of filtering and, and bias, I, I don't necessarily think that's what's happening here. I'm sure there's something in the algorithm that is uh, preventing these people from getting the exposure that they that they want. We also have to remember these social media platforms are international; they're around the globe. So a lot of people in the states are going to have stuff that's popular around the world. A lot of people in the states are going to have stuff that's just popular with a percentage of the population. But Carly, here. at the same time, it wouldn't take much, you know, for some of these Silicon Valley genius, geniuses to filter out ideas that they don't find acceptable. That's right. And be specifically because Silicon Valley is so liberal. So the big questions of the day here will be, um, how do social media companies decide what is and is not allowed on their platforms? And are they more inclined to block conservative, you know, political content. There's been a lot of high profile cases ever since 2016 when Facebook was accused of blocking conservative news stories from their trending section. We've talked a lot about them. The latest coming from a country music band who said Facebook prevented them from uh, promoting their song called I Stand for the Flag. So there are specific examples that these social media companies are going to have to answer for. I, I, one thing I, I think we get caught up social media versus media let's just say media because all media forms there's different biases that might exist and imagine through regular standard media companies it was what gets through and what doesn't but